new shop, folks. T-Bone here, Rayleigh Small Engines. Y'all saw that smoke coming out. Don't just instantly think that your engine's blown up, your rings are bad and all that. I think we got a bad head gasket. There's a few ways you could tell if you have a bad head gasket. One is that smoke coming out. First thing you've done is check the oil. You know it's not over full. If it was over full, then we'd be looking at a carburetor issue. In this case, we're not. So when you pull after you've ran it, and of course this is already cooled back down now, when you pull that dipstick out, you'll see smoke coming out of here in the crankcase. What that's telling me, I don't have to do any fancy pressure testing or anything. This one's right off the cuff. My diagnosis for this machine is a bad head gasket. What that's telling me, I went in and ordered a Briggs & Stratton head gasket for it. Right here where the piston is, this is where your push rods go through. That head gasket should be blown. This one's not real bad, but it will be blown. You'll be able to see it on one side or the other. Maybe you better see all the way through. I don't know that we take it apart, but it's going to be blown right in here. And that's how these exhaust gases are getting into here, into this valley, and they will run back through into your crankcase, and that is why you see smoke coming out of here. So y'all give me a second. I'm going to get a few tools, and we're going to show you how to take one of these apart. It's really, really simple. All right, so once we've got these loose, remove your air filter cover. Remove your air filter. Some have it and some don't. There'll be a little screw right down there in this quarter inch. You can see right down in there. And we're going to want to pull that little screw out. Tiny, tiny screw. My fat fingers won't even get it out of there so tiny. See right there how tiny? Now, there, that is one example of a blown head gasket. Another example is going to be the head gasket can blow along the sides. I've already removed the two bolts at the back. There's two in the front. The front ones have a short shoulder. The ones in the back, see the shoulder short? Shoulders long, the long goes in the back, and the short shoulder in the front. Then you just slide the engine cover off. Now what you'll be looking for, this mower here is extremely clean and well kept. A lot of times you'll see some oil build up in this area where the head meets the block. And what you, you can even with your spark plug in there, you can turn this engine over by hand and it'll be really quiet and listen. And you'll hear a hissing. Now, when you hear that hissing, the easiest way to find out if that's exactly what it is, is just get old, that's an old Coca-Cola or Mountain Dew, I don't know, little bottle, a squirt bottle, this little dishwashing liquid and water, squirt around here, and as you're turning this engine over, you will see bubbles, and that'll show you, and you can spray up underneath, but you'll hear it. You'll hear some noise out of the intake, and you'll hear some out of the exhaust, but you'll specifically hear it here. So... First thing you're going to want to do when you're doing these, raise the front end of this tractor up. The reason being, so much oil won't come out of the front because we're going to keep this clean and dry when we go to put it back together. I, I am fortunate enough to have a winch in the ceiling. You can use some automotive ramps, some blocks of wood if you don't have any of that, or bricks or something to put the tractor up on. Just raise it a little bit. Go up to your wife's flower bed, and you know those decorative blocks she made for a walkway? Go ahead and steal those and drive your tractor up on those and don't tell her i told you to do that y'all stand by let me raise this up and we'll continue on okay let's go ahead and move, remove the spark plug i'm gonna go ahead and pull this wire back up through here and out of our way now something to you'll see sometimes it'll have a lot of build up that oil is coming through and getting into your cylinder and you're burning it and it's a lot of times you'll see build up in this case you can see it starting on the spark plug okay so just be aware sometimes there'll be some built up in there when they're really bad you, you won't even know how it runs if it even runs so the muffler you don't have to remove the whole muffler you can take these bolts right here and i'll pop them loose a little bit with a ratchet and drop that I find it 
So just loosen these a little bit and save time. Pull your bolt out. Now let's get the other one. There'll be a gasket back there. Sometimes it'll come off with it. Sometimes it doesn't. So that muffler just fall off. And then just pick it up. Give her a little twist. See my gasket's still on there. It actually looks pretty good. So we'll lay this to the side. Now we want to be removing our carburetor assembly. So let me take you over to the other side. You don't have to remove all this stuff. Two bolts, three eighths head. Buzz these out. If you can get your gun on it. See, I'm backwards because I'm left-handed using my right hand. Pull this and I'll just lay this right there to the side. It's fine. There is an O-ring in here. Just It's a little orange O-ring if you can see right there. Just don't lose that. Make sure everything is clean when you go to put it back together. Next thing, we're going to want a little oil pad because we will have some oil drippage. And let's remove this valve cover. Some of these are done with gaskets, gaskets and some of these are done with sealer. This one is done with sealer. I will bend it getting it off. It happens 90% of the time. Of course, you know me and a hammer, I like to break stuff sometime. Give it a little tappy tap, a little twist. That one didn't bend, I'll be. Unbelievable. It's actually a very clean engine. Uh, the oil is even spotlessly clean in here. Why this happened, you know, I, I, I don't know. So next thing we're gonna want to do is move this head. You got some 3 8 bolts. If my gun will get them all. Now what you can do, I think on this particular engine, they're all the same length. But just keep track when you're doing one of these. I need to get this out of the way. Keep track when you're doing one of these. The uh, bolts, leave them in the head if you need to. Because sometimes they are, there are different lengths on different engines. So next thing, your head ought to fall off. Like that. Okay. Now we've got your push rods in here. Your intake, I mean, that was your exhaust. Your intake is aluminum. This will be your uh, aluminum, and you can tell by the weight and the color. The steel one is on your exhaust side. We'll talk about that a little later. What we're after is to see if I can drop all these bolts and lose them. Okay, we're going to do a little inspection here and see if we are correct. I don't see any leakage in here. You can see some carbon buildup starting though. What we're looking for is in this head right here. And let's see if we can get this gasket to peel off. It is on there. We should see some evidence of that blown head gasket right there. See right in here where it's been squeaking by? All right. Y'all stand by and we'll be right back. Okay, I went got a light here so y'all could see a little better. The, I believe right in this crack is where our issue was. You can see us right across there where the gasket wasn't. And this is cracked right in here. And you can also notice a lot of oil up on top of this piston. But you can see that crack matches up right where that line is. A lot of times you'll see this and there'll be, when they're real bad, there'll be a lot of smoke issues you can see in these spots. Now just to double check, we'll move our piston up to the top by turning the flywheel with our hand. See that oil coming out of there? And to basic, give you a good idea if your rings are any good, you can take your thumb and you can move this piston it's barely moving in here. If it's bad, it's going to be flopping around in there. But you can definitely see this has been burning oil. 
So our next step is to try and let's see if we can get this cleaned up. Just a few little tools. You can use a little razor knife. This is an old inspection sticker scraper. And get in there and just start cleaning all this stuff up. You want to make sure you don't get a lot down in this galley to get down in the engine. You can also use a wire brush on a drill or a hand wire brush. So let me get all this cleaned up and we'll talk about getting this thing back together. So once you've got all this clean enough that you can eat off of it, you're good to go. The way you're going to find your correct head gasket is look on top of the valve cover. Model, type, and code. And we know this is a 2012 model, but you'll need this number, that number, and that number there. Then go into somewhere like Parts Tree and look up and get the correct head gasket because there are a lot of different ones out there. They may look really close, but they can be different. And this is the one for this particular engine, 794114. Now, we, I've I, I, use only OEM head gaskets on these other than if Rotary has it, I'll buy one from Rotary. But the other aftermarket ones, I don't use. You be sure your locator pins are lined up in here. Uh, your valves, this engine has such low hours, I'm not gonna do the valves on it, but I do have a video on doing valves. These, if you can take your thumb and press real hard and turn that valve, you need to pull them out and do a valve job. And I, it's really simple to do. Um, but I've gotten most of this carbon off best I can, so if we're good to go. We're gonna slap this thing together. Let's see if we can line him up somewhere in here. Like that. And these bolts will just take, run a couple in to hold it in place for us. That way the head won't fall off while I put the rest on. Now, there is one more thing I forgot to tell you guys earlier. When you pull the uh, head off like I did, and your rockers go like this, right here on the top, there are these little guys here. And they will fall off and fly across the shop somewhere. So be sure you hang on to those because you do need these especially when we get ready to go do these valves. So y'all stand by a second. I'm going to get these head bolts in and we're going to torque these down in a cross pattern and I'll be back with you in just a minute. So I want you to go to somewhere like Manuals Lib and look up your particular engine and find the torque specs for your engine and torque these down in a crisscross pattern. And once you get them all torqued, Drop your socket. Once you get them all torqued, go back and do it again. Go around another crisscross pattern. And once you do that, do it one more time. I want you to make doggone sure you've got every one of them exactly even till it clicks. So let me go around these again and I'll be back with you and we'll continue on. All right, this one, well, I can't even read this doggone thing. It's the one that fits. It's a Torx something, something or another. It's like a Torx 20 on this one. Yep, T20. What you're going to do is just take and bop that loose to unlock it. And this way, once it's unlocked, and then these are actually 16 millimeter. But just take and back these off like so. And go ahead and, so I don't forget, put these back on the little caps back on, whatever you want to call them. Somebody will be in the comments with the proper correct name. You know what? That's fine. Fine. Put it in there if you want to. All right. So what we're going to look for here, we're going to take and do our intake is aluminum. Push it in, and what I'll do is I'll take my hand, let me move this bracket, take my hand, and I'll turn the engine, and that way, see, I know that I'm on that lifter now, right? And then we'll just pull this up, get it on there, and snug her down, not even tight. I'll go down until it stops about there, that's fine. 
Now let's do the other side. Turn that light out. Oh, the light getting yeah. you? Okay. Yeah. Mrs. T is over here filming today. Y'all say hello to her. Hi, guys. We got that one in. Uh, spin it round, spin it round, spin it round, spin it round. Well, am I... See, I'm not in it. Let's try it again. There it is. See, I'm in there now. All right. Let it bottom back out. And we'll go flippity-dippity this back up on here. Back this out a little more. Run that up. Now, what you're looking for is top dead center. Or, show you another way. Spin the engine, spin the engine, spin the engine. See, that valve there is open. That means this one is closed. Simple as that. So, what you're going to do, so this is your intake. I did that wrong, y'all. I thought it was wrong. Holy though. moly. Did y'all see that? I did that wrong. Duh. How's it, honey? We'll be back. Okay, so I took it back apart and flipped it. Your intake is on the bottom, your exhaust is on the top. The intake hole goes down to this valve. And you stick your finger there and you can feel the valve stem. So your steel push rod goes on top, your aluminum on the bottom. I don't know what I was thinking, but I guess I wasn't thinking now, was I? So, our intake, a little loose there, huh? All right, well, we're gonna do to set these. Four thousandths feeler gauge. Generally do this by hand like this with my hand. We'll kind of torque her down a little bit. Just want a little bit of drag on there. Nice. Then I'm gonna flip, spin the engine over. Intake is open, exhaust is closed. And eight thousandths. Now they say eight thousandths. I go a little bit tight. I have been known on an older worn engine. I'll set them both at four. Tighten it or lock it up. We got a good drag. And all you'll do is you'll spin it over one more time. And four thousandths. Nice little drag. Spin it over. Intake is open. Exhaust. Nice little drag. And it's a little bit tight, which is what I want. Now, the way you know you have a good camshaft and your compression release is working, I want you to watch these rockers. See that little bump? See when I get back to it. See that little bump? See it? That's how you know you got a good camshaft. And I've got a video on that, too. Y'all go back and check out our old videos. All right, give us a second, and we'll get set up and show you the rest. Okay, so a little bright cleaner on a rag. Make sure this is very clean, very dry. The reason I use the brake cleaner is because it does dry very, very fast. Now you can get valve cover gaskets for this or use RTV. This one from the factory at RTV. So that's what I'm gonna put back on it and I'm gonna let it sit overnight. There's a few different styles of RTV. I always use the black. Down here is just what I like. It doesn't look to me if you're doing orange or blue it just doesn't look all that professional so we're gonna run us a little bead around here and seal this i'm gonna put a little bit around these bolts and what i'll do is i'll snug them up let it cure overnight and then guess what tomorrow we can fire this baby up so let me get this valve cover on and i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll fire this machine up i'll go ahead and all it is two bolts to put on right there on the intake and two on the exhaust and that little bracket thing sits up there in the engine cover. That's all we got to do. And then we're going to see if it smokes. Let's hope it doesn't. All right. I'll see y'all in the morning. And just so y'all know, we are going back with a brand new NGK spark plug, BKR4E. Uh, right there. That's what we're going to put back in here. I found another funny version of doing these head gaskets y'all could check out. Uh, Terrell Fixes All did one, uh, I don't know, six or seven years ago. It was hilarious. 
So anyway, just sticking these little pieces back on and we'll fire this thing up in the morning. Okay, folks, we got her back together. Y'all be sure you go ahead and change your oil, obviously. Uh, didn't think I needed to really mention that, but I did anyway. So let's fire this thing up and let's see how she's going to act. I did crank it up just a minute ago. Uh, just so you know, off camera, because it, it's going to puff a little bit when you first start it. going to happen. The oil and stuff that gets in the top up there. So let's fire it up and see how she's going to act. We'll be watching right down here by this muffler. And let's make sure we're not seeing any white smoke. I think we got another one fixed, folks. Hope this video helps someone out. Y'all check out some of our other videos. We've got some great stuff out there. Well, I think we do, but y'all be the judge. Leave a comment down below. Give us one of those thumbs up. You guys come back to see us. I'm going to get this hood on and uh, go take it out and cut a little grass with it and make sure it's all right before I give it back to the customer. Have a great day, folks.